Welcome back again with Chef Akada cooking program back in the kitchen again guys. Anyway, you know what happened? I'm gonna make you a nice lovely brown stew sauce. It's one of the best ever ever exists in this world. This is great by Chef Akada. The reason why I said it is brown stew sauce, a lot of people when they're making like brown stew chicken, they might get some water and add it to it until it cooks down. No guys, we come with the idea of making the sauce, that's the sauce of vapor for you. All you need to do is just to add the sauce to it, just like when I add the water and it cooks down straight into that gravy. Beautiful. I made the dish before and I made the sauce before and I'm going to do it one more time again. Today, we're going to make it brown stew chicken sauce. Enjoy the recipe from Chef Akana. Thank you very much. Guys, I love this stuff. We made the brown stew sauce, guys. The only one problem I really have to apologize about is that I didn't have any white onion but I'm using some red onion which is that is fine but anyway to make the brown sauce guys as I said before you have to have all of these ingredients very important as you can see I got some chopped tomato right over here some tomato paste I got some even some nat some natural tomato which I just cut up spring onion garlic some mixed pepper and I said we're using some red onion we should have white onion but that's fine right here we got browning and we got some Right here we have some lovely fresh thyme and we have some ketchup which we gonna also put inside of it. We might put some more chopped tomato also inside of it to bring up the flavor. But make sure you cut all of your seasoning very small, very finely. And uh, we're gonna put a pinch of white wine vinegar for processing. Guys, hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. Now we're gonna start the process of making that lovely brown stew chicken sauce. Enjoy the recipe. So right here I have a medium size pack on the stove. Basically, I need to put a little bit of olive oil inside of the frying pan. Basically, my pan was on the stove about three to four minutes ago. So this is ready for the seasoning, guys. So we're gonna put in all of those seasoning. Saute that for about three to four minutes after we even we will blend it after. So guys, don't forget to enter the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments if you like the recipe. Thank you very much. So all of my veg is finished. Now we're gonna add some a large spoon of tomato paste. Lovely. And also a cup of chopped tomato. Beautiful. We might add some more chopped tomato, guys. We're gonna add some more chopped tomato. We're gonna add half a cup more chopped tomato inside of it. So roughly, I use one tin of chopped tomato inside of it. Then we're gonna put some browning, teaspoon of browning. You can either use white sugar or brown sugar. Teaspoon of sugar. Ketchup, one spoon of ketchup. Lovely and nice. Let's start. Make sure I have it right color. Nice one. So we're gonna add half cups of water to it now. Half cups of water. And then a pinch more browning. Guys, brown stew chicken and brown stew chicken have a brownish color look guys. So you have to be careful when you're making the sauce. Nice and lovely. So let's take this to the about two more minutes then we're gonna blend it. Nice one. So, 
for preserving, we're gonna put a pinch of white wine vinegar inside of it for preserve. That's again keep it for about three to four weeks inside of your fridge. Um, basically, we're gonna put now a pinch of hot pepper sauce. You can put scotch bonnet pepper if you like inside of it. I'll give you your option, guys. Some coarse pepper. Nice one. And some grounded pimenta. Just to give it a flavor and a nice taste. Give it a stir. Nice, then you give it a taste. Mm. This tastes fantastic. Mm. Nice. Now we're gonna put it to the blend. Lovely. Nice. So we're gonna pour it straight inside of the blender like this, guys. Nice one. The next thing, cover your blender and blend it. Lovely. Let me see how the sauce looks because this is not nice. Let me see. Okay, lovely. But the only big thing I need to change the color. So what I'm gonna do now, like how I wanna change the color, I'm gonna add a little pinch more browning inside of it because I wanna change the color. Because it's supposed to look like a brown look. Lovely and nice. So that's the color of the sauce I'm looking for to make a nice, lovely brown stew sauce. Whoa, look at this, guys. So, what I'm gonna do, taste it now. Mm. This is perfect. Mm. Ah, it's just really nice. The tasting, everything is perfect. So, now this is finished. All I need to do is just blend it for a nice good 10 minutes, get it really smooth. So this is finished. Now we're gonna pour it in a bottle that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Lovely and nice. So now we're gonna pour the sauce inside of my bottle. Just to show you guys, look at this brown stew sauce guys. So when you make the sauce, all you need to do is to get it cool down, put it in a sealed container like this, and you make some chicken. So you make some chicken. And you make some chicken, and when you make some brown stew chicken, you brown it up, everything. Cook it up with some carrot and all that stuff. Then, then you can get a bottle of this sauce, pour it inside of it, when you know, and just cook it down with this. The guys, it's just beautiful and nice. But as you can see, you can see how the sauce looking good, really nice and beautiful, guys. It's just really nice, and the sauce is very easy to make. So, guys, hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. Uh, it's just really nice, I can taste the sweet pepper. It's just beautiful. So guys, as you can see, this is the brown stew sauce. I am telling you, it's just easy, easy, easy guys, just to use this at home. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of chicken with some chicken which I have in the oven at the moment. Look at this now guys. Okay. This is some chicken I just take from the oven, yeah? And this is some big chicken breast guys. Look at all it white. Just imagine you have some chicken where you're cooking like this. The beauty with the brown stew sauce. Look at this. I'm gonna just pour some on it just to show you something. Just, just to show you something, guys. That's what happened with the brown stew sauce. So you're doing some chicken breast like this. Basically, just pour it over it like this, guys. Beautiful. Put it back in your oven and make it cook for another good 20 minutes. That's not a barbecue sauce. It's a brown stew chicken sauce. 
beautiful, nice. As I said, you can taste the sweet pepper inside of it, everything inside of it. It's just really nice and wonderful, guys. So this is the way all the brown stew sauce effective. When I have some more sauce left back, which I'm gonna cool down and I'm gonna make some brown stew chicken with it. And I'm gonna use that sauce inside of the chicken to show you exactly what I'm talking about. As I said, this is one I've been working on the sauce for about roughly three to four months now. About the brown stew sauce. So this is the way all the brown stew sauce really effective, guys. Beautiful, nice, smoothy, and again, taste even the very taste of the pepper, everything inside of it. So, guys, hopefully, you will enjoy the recipe. Leave your comments, and thank you very much for watching Chef for Color.